Hi, people, and I'm back in the kitchen cooking again. You can't start a video like that. <laughs> Sorry. One of my favorite YouTubers started, starts every video like that. Today, we are going to make a super easy, super simple, super quick carnivore mug cake. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. We're back in the kitchen. We're here. <laughs> it's a brand new year, and we've got some brand new recipes to share. Yeah, now this one is gonna spark a new series of cooking videos that are super easy to make, really quick to make, and as a matter of fact, these are so easy, that even Rachel could make it. Yes, I am so glad that the So Easy Rachel Can Make It series is back, although it never stopped on Instagram. There's lots of recipes up there to check out. We're just gonna take some of them and turn them into videos. Yeah, let's talk about So Easy Rachel Can Make It for a minute because yeah. I keep getting yelled at for this series. Because Are we gonna stop this series? No, we're never gonna stop it because actually Rachel is the one that came out of it. And I'm no victim in this. And it has nothing to do with with uh, with boobies or no boobies. Okay. It really has to do with Rachel as a human being is not a great cook. And if Rachel could make this recipe, I feel like any human being could make this recipe. Fair and, enough. And possibly Tabitha. Okay, so you ready to make today's video? Let's do it. Okay, so today we're gonna make a carnivore mug cake. Yeah. Which is basically a Greek meatloaf or Mediterranean meatloaf. I feel like before keto, this would have been totally horrifying, but we're really excited about it because meat. Now we're gonna be making this in the microwave, but if you don't have a microwave, that's okay. Just cook it in your oven to temperature. Yeah. So you ready to get started? Yes. Let's go over what we're gonna need. So first thing we're gonna need, again, Mediterranean, Greek, Close. So instead of using beef, we're going to use ground turkey. But you could use ground beef if you wanted to. Yeah, no problem. Now, I actually found this at Walmart. I was super excited because a lot of times, like, you know, ground turkey is tends to be very lean, like 93% lean. Well, I found this Ginny O ground turkey, and this is 85% lean. Fat equals flavor. So we don't want a lot of fat, but I definitely want to have a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna use one pound of that. What I do love about turkey is how cheap it is. Yeah, so Super this was cheap. like $2.97 for a Hello. pound. We need some crumbled feta cheese. Feta, it's feta. We need some black pepper. Okay. We need some Italian seasoning. Yes. We need some ground or crushed pork rinds. We're gonna use pork and good. You can actually buy them just so like this. Oh good. Now, we're going to use the Italian flavor because yeah. Mediterranean, kind of Italian, we're all kind of mixes in. And we're going to use Italian seasoning. But if you don't have this, you can use plain ones. You can even use spicy ones if you want. Oh, yeah. I bet that'd be good, actually. We need a cucumber. Okay, so I'm just using a what cucumber. What is this? Um, you're basically looking for about 300 grams of cucumber. The entire recipe is going to be linked down below and on our website. And then you're also going to use about a half a tomato. Uh, so you're looking for about 150 to 200 grams of tomato chopped up. I love it. Finally, we need some salt. That's in every recipe. Every though. recipe. So we're using Redmond's. Even our water's got salt in it. Are you ready? So let's push all that to the side. We've already prepped everything. Now you will need a bowl. Rachel's going to wear gloves. I am. And then you can use mugs. Or if you have the right size, you can use ramekins. Um, we've actually doubled the recipe for this video, so I'm hoping they fit in the ramekins, but if not, we're gonna just kind of make it twice and put it in the mugs. And it goes so quick, you could make them in batches. Yeah, so you ready? So first thing we're gonna do is, you need that ground turkey. Yes. And we're going to... Can you open it for me, please? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> this knife needs to be sharpened. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let you empty that out. 
basically a butter knife at this point. Now we're gonna take our cucumber, which we've cut up already. So you wanna dice up your cucumber, mix it all in there. You're just gonna pour that in there. Same thing with the tomato. And again, it's about a half a tomato, about 150 to 200 grams of tomato. Put that in there. Four tablespoons of pork rinds. It's about 25 grams. Smells so good. Two tablespoons of feta cheese. We actually forgot an ingredient. You also need some oh, caldemol yeah. olives. I am not an olive person, so I, I actually bought this jar. And Rachel's going to have to eat the rest of it because I don't eat olives. Oh, but I will awesome. eat them like in a Greek salad kind of thing. Yeah. So we've got 10 olives that are chopped up in here. Then we got our seasoning. We got a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. If you don't have that, half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of oregano give you the same result. A teaspoon of black pepper. A teaspoon of salt. And again, we're using Redmond's. White gold. Go ahead and mix it all up. I like everything in one bowl like this. Okay, now that we have everything mixed, we're gonna go ahead and put this in our mugs. And again, you can use mugs or you can use ramekins. I'm hoping it's gonna fit in these ramekins because the ones that we would normally use are a little bit bigger, but I don't have four of those that match. Right. So we're gonna take them and all you're gonna do is take your mixture and put it into four mugs or ramekins and just like make four equal portions. Might have a little bit left. Tabitha is hoping that that is the case. <sighs> she is right at my feet again because mommy's cooking and something seems scary about that. Oh, no, we're good. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of press these down. Make sure it's not coming off the top. Ugh. Gloves, thank you. Put that off to the side. Clean that. Super simple. Into the microwave for 11 minutes. And I do suggest cooking it in like two different batches, depending on how big your microwave is. So if you wanna make sure you get good even cooking, do two of them and then do the other two in a separate round. So everything's done. We put them in 11 minutes. Probably could cut it down to 10 minutes. It just completely depends on your microwave. Right. So here's what we have. So we have it just like this. They're kind of toasty. And uh, that one's hot because that one just came out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this now, I'm gonna take our plate upside down. And there we go. And we have a little mini meatloaf. Is that adorable? Now it's the taste test. Can I have my fork? I like how easy this is because you can mix everything together, put it in the microwave, go take your shower when you're home from work. Yep. By the time you're done, dinner's done. And again, so I mean, you're talking about meal prep and everything, you know, especially if you're cutting the recipe in half and yeah. just doing a half a pound a piece, the whole meal prep you're talking about 12 to 13 minutes, like prepping, cook time, everything. Everything. Ready? That is delicious. Super chock full of flavor. And the cucumber and the tomato keep it nice and juicy because you know again sometimes that turkey can kind of get dried out and stuff but it really keeps it nice and juicy it's really good it's greasy in the best way so so if you're curious i'll give you the macros but just remember anytime we give you macros it's based on the ingredients that we use right and we always recommend that you take everything that you personally use, like every brand, every weight, and put it in the chronometer to get your exact thing. But based on the ingredients that we use, each one of these works out to be 288 calories, 20 grams of fat, 23 grams of protein, five total carbs, most of which is coming from the tomato. Vegetables. And then one gram of fiber. So it's four net carbs per each one. But again, the carbs are coming yeah. from the tomato and from the cucumber. If you really wanted to, you can cut down that on a little bit. I wouldn't cut out too much because you're going to be getting rid of some of the moisture and flavor. Well, I was going to say you want the taste because you don't even need a sauce with this because yeah. it's like all built in. Yeah. Well, that's going to be today's cooking video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there is an entire playlist of videos, which I'm going to link right down there. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way, subscribe to our channel, and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new recipe video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.